There's a lot of excitement about senior year. College, I know it's going to be like really great when I get there, but I kind of like want to cherish all of like high school. But there are a few words that can give students chills. I think as soon as any senior hears these words, it brings like a lot of stress to us because these two scores, like a lot of us care about it. The words SAT and ACT. More kids who are sort of struggling than they're used to be. Tutor Adam Shalomi works one on one with students trying to pass the test and says what he sees in sessions matches data from the latest national reports. Overall, it's not that surprising just because so many kids sort of had a gap in their knowledge during COVID. A new report from ACT headquarters shows scores from the 2022 graduating class were the lowest in over 30 years. The national average 19.8 out of 36, a dip of 0.5, but last year's score was a record low too. Focusing on Florida, 46% of seniors took the test last year. The average score 19, the lowest in the last nine years. And if we want to do a true apples to apples comparison, it's a dip of nearly two points compared to 2020, which had identical participation rates. ACT CEO Janet Goodwin said, quote, the magnitude of the declines this year is particularly alarming as we see rapidly growing numbers of seniors leaving high school without meeting the college readiness benchmark in any of the subject areas we measure. COVID learning loss has created the latest concern for lower scores. So seniors like Tabina and Justin say they've done rounds of test prep and tutors have gone back to the basics. How to divide and multiply fractions or the difference between commas versus semicolons. And the Princeton Review reminds students of those quick testing strategies. Answer the easiest questions first. Never leave an answer blank. You don't lose points for wrong answers on the ACT. And free practice tests help shake off testing jitters. Randy Hildreth, Fox 35 News.